It was in April 2020, after about three and a half months of quite intensive composing. Uh, I had just finished the song demos and sent them to the rest of the band uh, to rehearse, give their unique touch to the songs, and so that we could start the pre-production of the album. And after the summer and pre-production period, uh, during which we already recorded some violins and keyboards, we started with the drum recordings in Deep Noise Studios in Kovola, uh, with the help of the studio owner Saku Moilanen. After that, uh, we spent the autumn and winter recording the rest of the album at our own Grey Realm studio. And the very last bits we recorded were the choirs in February, uh, actually while Juhis Kaupinen was already mixing the album. Uh, and finally, by the end of February, we gave the mixed album to Daniel Hagström in the legendary Finfox Studios uh, for mastering. Even though I am usually the very first one to start working with the compositions Harry has made, it seems I'm also always the last one to finish working on them. Because writing can be really difficult. So, just like with the previous album, The Wasteland, towards the end, Harry would be recording Emily's vocals and I'd be in the room next door trying to write or polish whatever was supposed to be sung next. And sometimes some rather interesting ideas emerge from that way of writing. So I guess uh, the very last lines for the choir parts were written just a couple of days before the choir recordings took place. And the choir recordings, they were so awesome again. Mm, The choir consisted of the band, uh, family members and some dear friends. And to me it was just... To have all those people there wanting to help and participating in making our music, there's just no words to express how wonderful it felt and how much it means to us. And I think that all the love that is poured into this album, I believe it gets across to the listener. It has to. (laughs) 